Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to talk about BFF design pattern in microservices. So here BFF doesn't stand for best friend forever. Here it will stand for back and for front end. So first of all, we will understand what exactly the problem statement is and what problem does it solve. Okay, so now imagine we are having some, we are working for some e-commerce application, Amazon. Like for the Amazon in the web application, we could see so much of information, right? Like product is there, everything will be there. But in the mobile, we will have a, we will have a limited description or information about that product, right? Now suppose if we create a single API, which will be giving the data both to the web application and to the mobile application. Like suppose there is one API which gives a get product, okay? And the get product returns 100 of fields. Now to show those 100 fields, the web application is a perfect place. But showing those 100 fields on the mobile application will be a nightmare because it will be giving us all the unnecessary information and it will make our application slow, right? So to avoid these kind of a things, this BFF design pattern is used. That is basically called backend for frontend, okay? So what exactly we do in this BFF is, the BFF design pattern creates a separate backend for each type of frontend, okay? So the mobile app will get its own backend API and the web application will get its own API. Each one is customized to give the best experience for its users. Like in the mobile, we will be showing 20 fields, but in the web, we will be showing 100 fields, right? So this is based upon the experience, the user experience. So now why should we use this BFF design pattern? So first is better user experience, like as we have already discussed, like in the mobile, we just want to see the 20 or 30 fields. We don't want to see 100 of fields about a single product right let's take amazon as an example like we have already discussed like for the mobile application we will create one api which will give us 20 fields and for the web application we will create this other api which will give us 100 fields because showing 100 descriptions or things about a product on a website web page is easy but showing it on a mobile because it will become too clumsy if we will show 100 fields on the mobile right so that's why two different apis should be created for web another API and for the mobile another API. So this is all about the BFF or backend for frontend design pattern. If you like the video, please do subscribe to the channel. Thank you.